Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do books under the tree tag and um, I just saw Hardback Hoarder do this tag so it inspired me to this video and this tag was created by the beautiful uh, duo of ladies from Game of Tones so I will link both of their links down below uh, Ali's and the girls too uh, go check them out they are very cool I will be reading the questions from my phone so don't be surprised and let's just do this Question one, uh, what book would you like to find under the tree this year? The main book I want to see under the tree this year is one of the Harry Potter uh, books uh, that came out recently, you know, the illustrated ones. I would really like to have uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It is so beautiful. Or I would really like to have a Kindle to be able to read uh, ebooks, you know, apart from on my phone, which is very a pain in the ass. So that's what I want this year under the tree. Question two. What is the best book you have ever received for Christmas? And the best book ever I have received for Christmas, it would either be Gemina from Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff that I received last year because I couldn't afford the hardbacks and my grandma gave me both Illuminate and Gemina and Gemina is one of my favorite books of the year so that was very exciting and I also received um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them the screenplay and this book I wanted so bad but again it was a hardcover it was so beautiful but I couldn't afford it and my mom gave it to me as a surprise and it was the best gift Ever. Three, what book gives you all the Christmas feels? I would have to go with the obvious one here and it is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and the reason why I decided to choose the first one and not any of the other books in this series is because the first one is just something I watch almost every year with my family at Christmas, uh, the movie, <laughs> and um, I've read this book many many times and most of the times I've read them was during the holiday seasons and just it is so fluffy and fun this first book is not um, as dark as the other ones so it is definitely one that I just enjoy so much and it is so fluffy and happy and you know all of the Harry Potter uh, readathons and everything that happened throughout the holiday season so that is one of the reasons why this is the main book for me because I don't read any Christmas books I love Christmas but I've never read a Christmas book which is weird but I am all about the um, Christmas movies though <laughs> like oh, Love Actually and The Grinch and The Elf and all of the good ones I just watch them every single year. Question four. What book do you plan on reading to put you in the Christmas spirit this year? Um, again, I don't plan on reading anything to put myself in the Christmas mood this year. Um, I might pick up something if I see any one that interests me. Um, there's my True Love Gave to Me collection that I've been interested in for a little while. But I don't feel like it, so I don't know. I might reread Harry Potter because I really want to try to complete the series uh, last year. That's one of my goals. So maybe I'll just begin this goal quickly and start the first book this year instead of in January as I planned. Question 5. What book have you read this year that you would like to throw out with the Christmas tree after the holidays? Oh, I know. Wuthering Heights by um, Emily Bronte. That book! was a pain and I read 40 pages and I wanted to like throw it away from me it was not good at all so bad but uh I know it's very loved in the book community but I just hated it so much and it's already thrown out I, I don't have it anymore but like it was so bad <laughs> so bad question six what is a book from this year that you would like to place under a friend's tree and that is definitely a close and common orbit by becky chambers everybody needs to read this book i don't care whoever reads it but like everybody needs to read this book it is so good and everybody needs to read this book i want everyone to read this book and talk about it with me because it is so good it is so freaking good. 
7. Challenge. Create a stack of books in which the spines alternate green and red. Actually, I am at my parents' house and I bought my with me a couple of books to read while I'm here. And you know what? I was very lucky because they actually are red and green and I didn't plan that whatsoever. So when I saw that, uh, my little panic over this question was reduced. <laughs> Uh, Ta-da! Uh, I only have four books, I know, but uh, it's the only books I have with me. So, let's just go through them. Um, the first one is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. One of the most exciting thing um, on my TBR right now, so. Next is Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. And here is the title, Archie, uh, volume three and four. So, yeah. And finally, Question 8. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Who do you tag? For this, I will be tagging, let me see, um, I will be tagging Squibble Reads, um, Books and Lala, and another one, She Might Be Monica. So I will put links down below to their channels. Um, so yeah, and I will also tag you. So you're tagged if you want to do this video. Have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!